Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Block series. Today I am just, well, first of all, I'm waiting for my reactor here, just smelting on up all this mericium. It's taking quite a while, but I'm doing other things in between. Um, one thing I did notice that I did not realize was a thing. I assumed all these reactors, or these large turbines, sorry, were outputting one amp at this. So I thought 19,960 U per tick with one amp getting sent out of these cables. And I noticed I came down here and all these cables were gone. They had burned up and I couldn't understand why. So I, I placed more down. Everything seemed to be okay, and then I placed one on these uh, titanium, or the tritanium rotor ones that are producing a more amount, and the cables all burned up again. And it turns out I was wrong about how many amps these are putting out, and when in fact the large plasma turbines with the better rotor and the... Uh, the higher RPM are actually putting out 4 amps. I don't know if it's split into like 4 amps, but it's this divided by 4. I'm not sure how that entirely works. Um, but yeah, so I had to replace all these cables. I had the vanadium times 4 that I had 16 amps. I thought I had plenty for all these turbines, but I had to replace it with eight times so they can fit 32 amps so I'm prepared for eight turbines putting out the most I possibly can um, which will be 32 amps worth so yeah that is something I didn't know and I think it scales with the different types of rotors the different uh, the rotor holder uh, whichever one you're using so but like I said, I don't really know um, how that's calculated. All I know is they can output up to 4 amps. And I did have that problem actually earlier with when I was placing these down. I had a line burn up and I wasn't quite sure. And I thought it was maybe just a fluke. But yeah. So be careful when you're laying the cables down, especially if you're using expensive cables, because these put out more amps than it says. There is no tool type, doesn't say anywhere how many amps are putting out. Um, but yeah, a couple other things I've done, just kind of doing random things here and there that I think of. I have placed a black hole quantum tank with the helium, because that was starting to build up. So I just have a storage bus. It's Automatically I'll put into that. I've been randomly replacing all my <laughs> energy cells here. Oh wait, no, those are the wrong ones. I just realized. Let's cancel it. Just notice these are the, yeah, I want the dense ones. Yeah, no reason. Like, honestly, there's, it's totally for aesthetics. Oh, I need two more, actually. These use a ton of crystals, as we can see. So that's going to take a little while uh, to finish it up. But I just kind of wanted like a whole square side. So lots and lots of power. The only problem is when this thing runs out, then it spams like crafting requests to all my different. All my. Uh, so sometimes they get all full up trying to craft this stuff. So I reduced it down to one. I'll I'll slowly increase it again, but 
large craftings kind of mess it up. So I am crafting some more. Uh, where are we? I have five more crafting units, but I gotta wait to get these. So each one of these uses 108 Surtis Crystal. So I'm just gonna slowly increase this. And I also need more another tower of these because I've almost completely run out. Okay, but anyway, this episode I think Well, not I think. I know I have actually got everything ready for the final circuit. So I think we can go ahead and get that crafted. Let me just double check I have the correct. So 64. Ooh, like spike. Silicon rubber. That's annoying, it keeps jumping. So 32. 32 super cupping coils. Alright, yeah, it looks like everything is correct there. So let's go ahead and see if this works. What? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this needs 300,000 you per tick and there's no way I give it that much. Let me put all this back. Yeah, I only supply it with 131,000. Um, how do I want to do this? So these each input I can't remember 60 62,000 I think it's each of those hatches do. Let me just do this really quick. Is it 3276? That's 65,000. Actually, I can check really quick on this because this is LB. Yeah, so 65,000. Let's see. So. If I add four, what I need to, oh my goodness, this <laughs> math is hard. So each of these is 65,000, so I would need, how many would I need to get 300,000? I would need to get, I just don't want to craft more than I need. Yeah, I would need five hatches. You need about four and a half, but obviously you can't do a half a hatch. So I'm going to have to do... Yeah, I guess I'll just do three more hatches, LUV hatches, because I don't want to convert it to ZPM. That'll be annoying. I think I would have to have, well, I don't want to replace all these anyway. Or would it, because, hmm. yeah, even if I had... I would need two ZPM hatches, wouldn't I? No, I'm not going to do that, because that would be pulling so many amps of ZPM. Yeah, so let me craft up three... Actually... So I need energy input. Do I have any? I do. Right, because I have it from my from my fusion reactor when I use them. I hate you. So let's just replace these and we'll see how this goes. I don't think it's going to be like... Can I get up there? There we go. 
it's not going to be a super long craft, so I don't. I don't think we'll have power problems. I could be completely wrong though. So I have a bunch of those extra, thankfully. Let me just double check. So, yeah. I usually do a backup when I'm laying <laughs> cables, but I'm not going to do it that time. All right. So, in theory, with five of those, this should be enough. Yeah, so it is getting 300,000. If it's going to be able to pull that amount is another question entirely. But uh, we shall see. It's 10 items, so 5, 5. Yeah, perfect. All right. So let's cross our fingers and hope this works. I think we're good. No explosions? Is it running? It is running. Is it getting enough power is the question. It seems to be getting enough power. Is it destroying these batteries? Let's see, no? No, it would be this one, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's, well, it's definitely destroying these batteries. <laughs> but hopefully this craft won't be too long. It's not exactly short, though, to be running 300,000 EU per tick. So definitely got to have a lot of batteries going. Or a lot of power production. Alright. In the meantime, oh, this is back. I should just turn off mob sounds, but I don't want to do that. Alright. So, also in between episodes, I added two black hole quantum tanks underneath here. And I just have that pulling out of the tank. So, these are basically running non stop. Um, is that necessary? No, not at all, but I have these on autocraft now, so I just click a button and those are filling up with light fuel and heavy fuel. I noticed because these are starting to get kind of full, so now we're going through that faster. So everything, all my outputs from the distillation tower are all being kind of like continuously mixed with hydrogen. Oh, that has dropped. That's right, because I'm making deuterium. That's probably enough deuterium, to be honest. Because I'm going to be switching. And, uh, my We'll have one electrolyzer making oxygen and water. All right, so let's uh, go check out. It's finished crafting. <clears throat> and there we go. The most difficult circuit in the game to craft. And we have one now. So one step closer. to getting the ultimate battery. I forgot to pull these, so put those in there. Save. And there we go. Hopefully, I don't, I might need another encoder, I think, if I want to get all these recipes on here. I don't think it can hold every single one that I'm going to need.
because there is six. Yeah. So if I want all six of these, there's six of these. So if I, I don't know how I'm, what I'm planning on doing, but if I want to autocraft all these, I'm probably going to need a new encoder and a new uh, packager and unpackager underneath. All right, but anyway, so that's finished off this. All my circuits. I have every single circuit in the game I've made now. So that feels pretty good. Um, and it actually, surprisingly, wasn't that difficult to make. Um, but if we look at the fusion reactor here, Fusion Reactor Mark III. Oh, I was looking at the wrong one. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking the Mark III only needed these. But no. Okay, I, I did think that originally. So, yeah, four times superconductor wire. So I'm going to need 128 of these, 64 of those, which is, that's probably the easiest thing. Fusion Glow Block. which I actually already have crafted. Let's throw it over here. Those are actually pretty easy to make. I can actually just make those now. But this is definitely something. Actually, I can make all this stuff, so I can actually easily set up this auto crafting. I use quite a lot of radon, but radon's not an issue now. Yeah, this is actually not overly difficult to make. Just a lot of stuff. I mean, that's a lot of osmium. It's so. What is it? You get four of these per wire, sixty. So this is eight ingots each. So eight times eight is sixty-four ingots of osmium. Poof! I should probably get that going right away. So this is just going to take a lot of time. Not necessarily difficult. Oh, what am I doing? Osmium. Yeah, so I think I'm probably going to get all this stuff crafting up so we can work more towards the fusion reactor. And then hopefully, well, when I get that, then we'll start working on neutronium. We'll see how that works out. But uh, yeah, a lot of this is unfortunately... A little bit of waiting. So I'm trying to find other things to do in between while waiting for the reactor to just kind of drip away. All right, so I'll be back in a bit and we'll go from there. All right, things are moving along here. I think I'm just just waiting on, yeah, the emitters. Yep. Should be going, right? I can't remember which machine does that. Anyway, uh, yeah, just waiting on the emitters. But in the meantime, I have actually crafted a new machine here. I'm going to put it down here, the um, autoclave. And the reason for that is because, okay, hopefully these wires don't burn. I'm going to do a backup. Just in case something goes crazy. Yeah, I didn't think they would. <laughs> Alright, so autoclave. And how many channels we got? We got enough. Alright. So basically I'm just switching the autoclave from the one up there, the 
LUV one to the ZBM one. And uh, the reason for that is the crystal, raw crystal chips, these things, uh, it's a 10% chance. So I'm upping it to, I think it's 80% now. So it's almost a one to one uh, ratio. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, europium. Just because europium is not the easiest to get. I mean, it's not difficult, but I like I have to use the reactor for. I'd like to use it for other things. All right, so that should fill that up with the europium. We will put this on there. It's still the. Uh, the old recipe, I'm not going to change it even though it's a much better. So let's, uh, I don't know, let's throw eight in and we'll see how it does. First of all, it's going to be quicker because that's such a slow recipe, but. So how about we do eight and then we'll see how many uh, crystal chips we get from this with the up increased uh, drop chance. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I turned all my turbines on again uh, because my battery buffer dropped quite a bit. I'm trying not to burn through all my plasma because I would like to switch it over once I get a tier 3. So I got 132 buckets, so I should be good until I get the Mark III reactor. What are we waiting on? I thought there was something wrong with that. The nano ones usually go... where do they go? Here. Oh, I'm out of glowstone. I knew there was something going on there. I don't have a glowstone set up, do I? Well, let's go ahead and do it. Fluid storage bus, auto ex... no. Export. I actually had all the stuff set up for it already. So I've done this a few times with different fluids that I need to keep stocked. So basically just uh, that one is full. So we'll just do it right here, I think. So I mean, yeah, there is. OK. So we will let's just drop that down there. So fluid storage bus on this, and then auto extract glowstone. Auto extract extract out the bottom. Actually, I don't need to because it's not going to extract. It's just going to, uh, it should just pull it out as needed. Let's just double check that's working. I can't tell if it's, <laughs> yeah, it's going down. I couldn't tell if it was going down. Uh, so that should be putting glowstone in this thing. And then if it needs it, it'll just automatically restock it. But it won't fill up my... Yeah. Uh, once it, This will fill up and then the fluid extract will fill up and it won't go into my A system. I really don't like having just fluids going in my system like uncontrollably, so that's why I like having storage buses on these these three. And that will just do, yeah, it should be about 16 and it'll show up as I think. Maybe it'll be 32. All right, anyway, so did you get what you needed? Yeah, it should be crafting. Yep, there it goes. I love how <laughs> it just works. I don't know, I just love it. So 
I don't think this overclocks. I could be wrong in that regard, though. See, we're at ZPM voltage, so in theory, it should be overclocking. Thirty seconds. Something get bunged up. I feel like something did. It should be turning on. I've had this happen before, so let's see what's going on. No. What's going on? Something is stuck. I don't know what it is. Let's just cancel that. Let's see what we got. We got one emitter, so let's do three more and see what happens. I feel like something got lost. No, because it didn't. It doesn't look like it crafted everything. Because it has like all these oils already crafted, and these are all stored already. So yeah, I don't know what happened there. Something got messed up. Was it? Oh, it might have been this. Yeah, it was probably this. I took these out, and that messed everything up. That's what it is. Because I removed this. All right, so I put eight crystals in there, and I got eight back. So. Just double check everything is working. I don't know, that was I don't something happened with that crafting. I'm not sure. Maybe I only did no, I don't know. <laughs> I think it had me to do with me moving that recipe around, I think. But anyway, uh, let me wait. Let me come back when this is finished. Alright, that actually went really quick. I'm just breaking this down since I don't need it anymore. Yeah, I thought that was going to take a little while, but it was actually only a few minutes, and I believe it. it is finished. Yeah, so there is my four emitters. I think that may be everything. I think those went there. And the HSSC plates, yeah. I think that was everything. Let me take a look at that. Um, what was it? Field generator. Couldn't remember the name of it. So eight of those. Sixteen crystal circuits. Sixteen neuro. Eight times four. 8 times 4, 6 steel plates, 4 of those, 4 emitters, 1 HSS E-frame. Alright, so it looks like I got everything. Just need these three put in. There we go. And this is 11? This is, no, this is 12. Is that right? Do I? Oh, shoot. Do I need? No, this is 11, yeah. Wait, what did I? No. Oh, wait. No, this is not. This is... This is 15. Oh, okay. Yep, I need to expand my assembly line. I have 13 right now. I need to add three more. Um, but I'm probably going to do that in between episodes. And then when we come back, I'm going to, I hopefully, we will have everything for my fusion reactor. I think I definitely want to get this built. I was kind of hoping that I would be able to craft this by the end of this episode, but I'm adding the 
um, extra slices to the assembly line is going to take some time. And then I got to get these crafted up. Um, but in the meantime, I have all the Maraceum uh, for the fusion casing. So everything else we are good on. I just need to acquire the ingredients for this. Um, but that's going to be for the next episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.